There are many stereotypes about immigrants, but most of them are false. The main two groups of immigrants coming to Minnesota in the current wave are Somalis and Mexicans. Throughout U.S. history, there have been four mine waves of immigration. Every single wave had a similar cause, such as war and oppression. Some of the hardships that all waves faced are a difficulty speaking and learning English, securing a job, finding a place to live, helping their kids with school, access to services and transportation, as well as cultural barriers. Most discrimination is caused by the preceding immigration wave. Since its creation, the Statue of Liberty, or Liberty Enlightening the World, has been a great symbol for the U.S., which the statue itself is representative of how the United States has always accepted those in search for a better life. But before the U.S. accepted the statue from France, Patrick Auguste Bartholdi originally intended to be a Muslim woman twice the size of the Sphinx guarding the Suez Canal. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, tempest tossed to me. I lift my light beside the golden door. Currently, about one in six Minnesotans has at least one immigrant parent. About 47% of the immigrant population are U.S. citizens. The top three groups of immigrants are from Mexico, Laos, and Eastern Africa. About 65% of immigrants are employed, which 46.4% of immigrants make less than $35,000 per year, versus 29.6 U.S. born citizens make around an equivalent amount, and a majority work in manufacturing and health services. Around 26% of immigrants don't have an education higher than high school or equivalent. There are many ways that immigrants helped build the United States. For example, many have started businesses and tend to work in the science and technology sectors. Some of the largest companies in the U.S. were founded by immigrants or children of immigrants such as Apple, Google, AT&T, Budweiser, Colgate, eBay, General Electric, IBM, and McDonald's. You know, I can just remember coming into the United States when I was second and third grade and in through there and, and feeling so isolated. I think that there's folks out in the world that think that this is the best place to grow their children. You know, and, 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 and I have to believe that that's a big part of why my mom and dad came to the United States. Nuestros hijos para que tengan un futuro mejor, porque ya no podemos darle lo que aquí nosotros les podemos dar, aunque aún trabajamos día a día, pero nuestro esfuerzo es para nuestros hijos y que tengan un futuro mejor. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems. Y también esperemos que nos sigan dejando aquí en este país porque nosotros no, no vinimos a robar, no vinimos a que según que nos tratan como criminales en este país, pero no lo somos porque somos unas personas que trabajamos día a día para sacar a nuestra familia adelante y que tengan un futuro mejor nuestros hijos. Porque en nuestro país hay mucha violencia y tenemos miedo también de, de estar en nuestro país. Well, uh, at the time I was working in Canada, I lived from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and uh, what happened is uh, a U.S. company came recruiting to Winnipeg for technology uh, staff, and so they they came in and had the paper and they uh, interviewed various people. <laughs> Uh, 
لكن ضد شيخنا يقول يشيران إن دبات اللوجيا يعني واحد دب أول نقل من مجد دقن كي يروحن كل حاجة سا دقن كي عدوا مسوي فرق لسه أنا دقن ماذا كلا فرها ما فرق شتى واحد دب أعتقد أمرك ما قبو Ah, pues mi discriminación en este país es no tener papeles, no ser legal en este país, no hablar inglés. Muchos americanos um, a veces discriminan a uno por no hablar inglés y pues uno se siente mal en este país por, por no saber hablar inglés y por no ser legal aquí en este país. Well, it's Canadian. What's the difference between, uh, what's a Canadian? Well, I said, well, I'm not American. That's the first thing they'll say, generally. And um, some of the traditions that we've kept, I used, I keep some of the heritage from my uh, my mother's side of the family. We're Ukrainian, so we kind of maintain the Ukrainian meals. We do occasionally do Ukrainian uh, Christmas, where we make 12 meatless dishes. And then also, for the Canadian heritage, we, we have uh, Canada Day celebration every year on July 1st, where we make uh, sort of Canadian foods, play Canadian music. Uh, for example, we make our own poutine, which is a Canadian tradition. Drink some Canadian beer. What the hell is going on? 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 What the hell is Between 2009 and 2015, Obama's administration removed more than 2.5 million people through immigration orders, which was more than any other administration, although there is a general upward trend of both illegal and legal immigration. Due to the exponential growth of the world population, the many wars and religious persecutions, so deportation is an important topic because it affects so many people of which most illegal immigrants want to help their families attain a higher standard of living. Because immigration law, back then and still now, is kind of like the wild west of the law. The law changes all the time. People react very much when something happens, they go crazy and they create a law without really thinking about what might be the result of it. Here are three different stories of our families. 